G'day trendsetters, Jom, that's J-O-M, with Gravel Cyclist. I'm coming to you today with another unboxing and features video. This one is a little bit different from the usual. Inside this 17 pound box of goodies is a very interesting group set. Now you might have heard of Shimano DI2, SRAM ETAP, and Campagnolo EPS, but have you heard of FSA Wii? FSA is a well-known component manufacturer, but unknown to a lot of people, they also produce a complete semi-wireless electronic drivetrain. Now, because FSA produce cranks, handlebars, stems, seat posts, everything, inside this box should be a complete group set ready to mount onto a special project that I'm working with FSA on. There'll be more about that later in part two. But for now, I'm going to unbox and weigh all of the components individually. Righto, let's get cracking here. Right and left, FSA Wii disc brake compatible shift levers. An FSA 11 speed, 11 to 32 cassette the FSA Wii rear derailleur. This derailleur will shift up to a 32 tooth cog. The FSA Wii front derailleur. Battery charger, and I think there's some other wires inside. We'll open that momentarily. Semi-flared Vision carbon handlebar. One BB386 EVO bottom bracket. One FSA clay force light stem, FSA chain, K force, K force crank set, 4630 chain rings and 172.5 length. And a final piece, the FSA K force light seat post. Let's take all these goodies out of the box and throw them onto the gram scale. Okay, I know everybody is going to want to see the weight of the drivetrain components first. So, onto the scale right now is the front derailleur, and this is the brains of the operation. You cannot run this system one by at the moment. That might change later on. Weight is 164 grams even. Oh, 163, 164. And there is a closer look at the front derailleur. There are setup and adjustment buttons here. I don't know anything about it yet. I have to read the manual before I experiment with it. But it's about the same size physically as those produced by Shimano, etc. The rear derailleur, 222 grams even. So this derailleur is 11 speed. Now there is no clutch in this derailleur. And you've got your adjustments here at the rear of the derailleur. I understand you can adjust this derailleur electronically from the shifters, I'm not 100% sure yet, but it will shift a 32 tooth coal, and there is a lot of carbon fiber in this derailleur. This cage here is carbon fiber, much of this body, the knuckle, etc., is carbon fiber. So I think it's a pretty good looking derailleur. And interestingly enough, this group set has been raced at Dirty Kansas. It was ridden by Jamie Driscoll in 2018. He was riding one of the earlier production samples. Finished the race, no problems at all. This is the right shifter with the rear brake caliper and the hydraulic housing. It also includes the little brake protector to stop the caliper from closing. You're looking at 382 grams. FSA also includes this comprehensive bleed kit. The system uses mineral oil. There you go, everything to bleed the system. Excellent. And a close look at the actual levers themselves. If you've ever seen the rim brake version, they're almost identical. So you shift down gears down the cassette, tapping that button there, and up the cassette like that. And so it's like a rocker switch. Hopefully you can see that. Let me flip it around. And there is the caliper. Good looking caliper if you ask me. And these are flat mount. The frame that these will be going on is flat mount. And here we go, here is the left shifter. 
with the front hydraulic caliper. Now, obviously this system is set up right now for European style, American style, whatever you want to call it, not motorcycle style like they do in Australia where the right shifter actuates the front brake. 353 grams for that little setup, including the brake protector right there. And there is another look at the shifter itself and the caliper. The all-important cassette, this is an 11 to 32, 241 grams. This cassette features a lot of titanium, so it's very similar to how they manufacture the Dura-Ace cassettes produced by Shimano. So the bigger cogs are all titanium mounted to a carbon composite carrier. This one is mounted to a aluminium carrier for the two biggest cogs and the rest of the cogs are individual and they are light they've all been drilled out extensively milled out etc it's a good looking cassette it's a shame we have to get it all dirty and there you have your lock ring this is the internal battery and this battery physically connects see those two wires there to the front and rear derailleur so it's a semi-wireless system the front shifters i showed earlier are wireless onto the gram scale 73 grams, and assuming the bigger shim for the seat post, you're looking at, whoops, 86 grams. Here are the electronic cables to link the derailleurs to the battery. And I believe there are three different lengths, and they also include this nice little bit of wire to help you fish the cables through the frame. That's super handy. Again, only the rear half of the bike is wired. The front half is wireless. Bottom bracket with wavy washer, 89, 90 grams. There you go. The unsung workhorse of most bicycles is the bottom bracket. This poor thing sees a lot of abuse. And this is a BB386 EVO bottom bracket compatible with the frame that I have arriving for part two of this little project. This be the chain with master link 255 grams including the plastic bag I'm not going to remove it from the plastic bag just yet as you can see there's some hollowing right there so they've cut the weight down on this chain nicely done FSA K force light stem 166 grams this is a very light stem and it features all titanium bolts aluminium face plate the body is carbon. That is wild. FSA K Force 27.2 by 350 seat post. 230 grams. That's very light. And in fact, it already includes an insert for a battery either for di2 or in this case the fsa weir system and that way also includes the little saddle rail wedges which i'll be removing to install the saddle and i believe the hardware i think it's actually it's stainless steel i don't think it's tie but even so that's a very nice weight now with this frame i might be using a shim to get the seat post to work the frame accepts a 30.9 seat post more on that later in part two and here we have the FSA K-Force light crank set. I believe this is the Adventure model crank set. I reviewed a variant of this crank set a couple of years ago on the Gravel Cyclist website. There's the on-drive side crank and spindle. Now, including the pedal spaces, you're looking at 640 grams. Here's a close-up. They have applied a nice protective layer to the crank arms. That's always excellent for carbon fibre. 4630 chain rings, as I said. And you can see they've got shifting pins, etc. on the chain ring. And I'm assuming you can probably purchase additional rings for this crank set. I'll have to overlay details about that on this video. And here is the non-drive side crank arm. And like all the crank designs, or many crank designs these days, these two mate together for one 
rigid structure and the center axle is aluminium all pre-greased and ready to go i think it's a good looking crank set and here is the beautiful vision carbon handlebar i'll show it to you momentarily let's just get it on the gram scale for now it's a bit tricky to weigh this little bugger 220 grams for a 42 centimeter model and here we are there's the front view of the handlebar so it looks like it's got a little bit of drop in the wings. Now, if you look from above, you can see it's swept. I quite like that design. It's uh, very comfortable. And the drops, they're a compact design. And again, this being 2020, this is a 31.8 millimeter interface. And there are your stats on the bar right there. So there you have it, the FSA Wii semi-wireless drivetrain system unboxed and weighed. In part two, I'll be showing you the frame I'm going to be using with this group set, so be sure to stay tuned. As with all of my reviews and little projects, I like to post teaser images to my website's entities such as Facebook and Instagram, so be sure to like and follow those if you haven't already. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they appear on the channel. I'll see you in the next video.